Dead boy. <laughs> yes. Ooh, most random hunt I've ever done. Literally on a whim, guys. On a whim. Came to scout some pigeons at the normal spot where I baited. Y'all seen that? Um, and it is a northeast wind. That means you gotta hunt this spot on a northeast wind. I can fit one more, can't. The reason is, is because they have to circle over the top of me to land on the power lines behind me. So, into the wind, um, they sit up right over me. This is, in fact, try to hide the best I can without having a blind today. No decoys, zero decoys, check it out. I'll walk out here in a little bit, but it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Nothing out there. Y'all are used to seeing a bunch of decoys. Spinners, all that stuff. Yeah, not today. Not today, my friends. We're starting from scratch. Good old farm boy hunt, baby. Smash the thumbs up right now. Let's see how many I can get on the ground. I have, in fact, the silencer. Today is, it, it plays a big role. Uh, being quiet, not scaring, spooking the rest of the birds behind them. Here comes some right here. Let's go. Hopefully we get some luck. Uh-oh. They're all up. Come on. Give me a shot. <laughs> oh, here's one. He's dead. First bird. First bird. I scared him up, so let's see if we can get him on. First bird down. Yes! You know how I uh, usually, when I'm you know pigeon hunting, I'll, I'll put the dead birds out in the decoy spread. I might do that. Start with no decoys, and then you keep adding to it, and by the time you know it, you have a whole pigeon decoy spread out there. They're back, they're back. Oh, here we go. Oh man. I'm gonna have to take my shots. I'm gonna have to start taking whatever I can scratch. But I did shoot that one time. Didn't even bother these birds. The suppressor is a game changer. I'll get a shot here in a minute. Here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. North wind pickup. They are doing a lot of work on the railway right here, hooking up to cars, backing up, banging. Banging around, it's just freaking these pigeons out, making them fly everywhere, which is really good. Which is really good. They're pretty sure they're helping me out in the long run. Oh, I just crushed one. Couldn't get the camera on in time. Dang it, so two down. I need a remote for this big camera. Oh, dove, not the dove. I need a remote. I usually sport the GoPro, but y'all have been saying you miss some of the pigeon hunts where I just use the big camera and ditch the GoPro for a little bit. Oh, I just got the, took the whole rear end off of a pigeon. He might go down. Sorry, I couldn't get the camera on again. Oh, oh, <laughs> no, no. Oh, I waited too long to pull the trigger. Uh, we got a walker. Got a walker. Uh, he ain't going nowhere. There we go, two birds. Nothing real special. Uh, I clipped the uh, rear end of a third one. He did not go down. But not too bad for the old farm boy hunt. The reason why I call it is a farm boy hunt. We all um, that have been wing shooting, hunting, any type of hunting have, have done these types of hunts since we were boys, you know. This is probably how a lot of us, uh, whether it was dove hunting like this or anything, um, how a lot of us got into hunting, you know, public duck hunting, anything, just something easy um, and enjoyable, you know. Here we go, different camera angle. No go. Bad shooting on Bob. I thought uh, the first shot they were going to come a lot closer and they didn't. Oh, got one. Go down. 
building. Oh. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I don't know if you guys seen that. The pigeon tried to land on the train while it's moving. As you can see, it landed and automatically fell over and just rolled off the side. Well, I'll go get that in a minute. <laughs> All right, so looks like we have some downtime. It might be getting near the end. I hope not, but check it out. I know you guys are probably asking, Bob, what type of ammo you're using? Very, very light lead loads, not uh, high brass rounds, straight from Walmart, guys. We've got two right on top of us. Come on. Um, this is... Uh, 12 gauge, two and three quarter, 1200 feet per second, seven and a half shot. Nothing special. Low brass, pretty much, you know? There we go. One, yeah, yeah, that was a heck of a shot. Ho -ho! Let's see if we can scratch another one out of this. Oh, that was a long shot. We're gonna step that one off. Oh man, that was awesome. Four on the ground, y'all. Boy, that was far. Let me step this off real quick. 57 yards. Right at 57 yards. That's where it dropped. Basically, when I hit it, it just fell straight down and went. Oh, it might be a sky buster. Go down. I completely blew him apart. He's got to go out. He's got to fall. That's why I love high brass shells. If I would have hit him like that with a, you know, a little more expensive high brass shell, you're talking lights out, Junior. I mean freaking lights out. Dead boy. be a sky buster oh that was way up there had to try it that's awesome that was a long shot that's the thing I wish I had high brass for these long long shots we're not decoying birds we're not trying to bring them all the way to the ground you know we're literally just past shooting pretty much so Long range on this one, y'all. And before we get any farther, man, I have been reaching out to all of you that have filled out the booking form at sandhillflyways.com. Uh, a lot of you folks, especially fathers, sons for Christmas, uh, birthday parties, birthday gifts, graduation gifts, to come hunt with me this fall, uh, duck and goose season. If you wanna come to Central Kansas and experience the best hunting there is in waterfowl, Get a hold of me. Fill out the booking form, sandhillflyways.com. Here we go, here's a two pack. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ah! Dang it. <laughs> Womp! Yeah. That was the old Joe Montana Hail Mary. Two more coming. It loud. Maybe the sound will push them this way. Looks like it might work. Ah, uh, not quite. Three more coming. Right here. Right here. D oh, like double. One shot, two birds, boys. One shot, two freaking birds. Not even gonna lie. Uh, we're gonna try this guy. Three birds, two shells. <laughs> oh, three birds, two shells, baby. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Those two above me, they were right beside each other. Blue. Oh, that was killer. We got some more coming on the left here. Come on, guys, smash that thumbs up. Let's go. I gotta go pick up some birds here in just one second, but. There's a five pack behind me, come on. Oh, that was, I wish I would have had the shot cam on, the GoPro something. 
I just decided to do this video on a whim because I pulled up here, figured out the conditions with a northeast wind, and I was like, I just got to try it. I only have, obviously, my big camera. I don't even have my GoPro with me. It's at home. I really do wish I had the GoPro because it's a lot easier to manage. Y'all can see exactly what I'm doing at all times. I'm trying with the big camera. I really am. Woo. Ah, I forgot my gun. Wow. Oh, I'm tired. All right. You didn't miss out on anything. No bands or anything. Young birds. Some old birds. But we have one, two, three. Eight birds on the ground. Woo! That's fun. I still think, though, it'd be a lot funner if I would have brought some high brass shells, guys. If you, you know, if you just think I'm being picky with it, man, you really haven't tried the difference between the two. Um, there's a big difference between low and high brass. I got two behind us here. What are you doing? A really good group. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Come back, come back. They sat right on the line behind me. Can you see him up there? Really, dude? Really? Literally right on top of my head. See what I mean? That's how long right there. They come out, they sit on one point of these lines. It could be anywhere on all these power lines because it's miles and miles of them. They only sit, they really like this intersection because of this dirt road uh, behind me. Uh, that's where they get a lot of their grit, their gravel for their digestive system, you know. But um, they don't stay for long. Oh, well, it's 5.15. And here comes more birds. I was just about to say, I, I know it's over, but I'm gonna give it a break. Solid shoot today, y'all. Eight birds, not too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the eight were blue bars, and then one black check. Well, back home. Check this out. I was just getting ready to go golfing. Not now, boys, not now. We're behind the lodge here. Check out the storms rolling in. Unreal. Holy smokes, this storm is huge. Well, I'm going to stay back here in the lodge and watch this storm roll in. If you all know me by now, I love my storms. Uh, always have been a storm chaser. Uh, chase a lot of tornadoes. Um, I absolutely adore storms. It feels like it's been forever since we've had good spring storms now we're in the beginning of summer i'm just glad we're getting some moisture i hope you all are too but good little hunt i wish i would have had high brass i could have connected with some of the more sky buster shots but i hope you guys are enjoying some of these pigeon hunts i do have a couple more coming i have some more waterfowl hunts uh, that are unseen videos from conservation season um, got a little bit of everything in the bank just uploaded what was it sunday a uh, pigeon trapping video so a lot of you guys have been wanting those got some big things been happening with the pigeon trapping so you just got to let me know what y'all want to see during the off season because i know when dove season rolls around honker season till season duck season guide season i know i miss it too check this out big shout out to outlaw beer for stocking the lodge yeah yeah, I'll be trying one or two of them later. Thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you have it. If you have been thinking about booking a hunt with me here in Central Kansas at Sand Hill Flyways, my lodge, right behind my house. I'm here every day. You get to meet Fred, the homies, everyone. Guys, go down in the description. I will link sandhillflyways.com down there. Click it. Um, and then when you get on the homepage, click on the uh, fill out inquire to book form. Fill that out and I will be getting a hold of you. Please, serious inquires only. We're getting, we're, we're, we're getting full. We're not full. There is room for y'all. Good room, but it's starting to turn on a little bit. So if you're wanting to grab a spot, do so. Don't wait. Subscribe if you have not, but until next time.